we need to cook. But instead of amphetamines, it's anthracene, an incomplete anthraquinone, which is what we need to complete chapter three. I'm not kidding. This whole branch of chapter three, all the way up to incomplete anthraquinone, I looked it up, that's how you pronounce it, is chemistry. We need to take this massive oil refinery project and bring it to the absolute next level. Now, I am on the latest dev build, and I am happy to report that blaze burners have been fixed for pneumaticraft. We can now use the straw version of a blaze burner to heat pneumaticraft stuff up, so that is a massive change, super helpful. So already we're actually kind of going to be ripping this thing apart and putting it back together in different ways because we want to route some stuff around. Mainly from this guy, we would love diesel to be put into a blaze burner because you can see with a blaze burner, uh, ba -ba -ba, I can find the entry. Diesel is extremely powerful. Right here, one bucket of diesel is 40 minutes of superheated blaze burner. So we're pretty much infinite, like forever. Now, for all this, I think we're going to have to do some massive reorganization and restructuring and rethinking and just a lot of re, 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 re. One thing that would actually be really majorly helpful is to move all of this up by one block because it's actually going to reduce the amount of stress that we need to use because I could instead be using, did I, did I lose that? Okay, good. Glad I, glad I thought about that. Didn't want to lose that to the ocean. Oop. As I was saying, having these one blocks upward means I can put a fluid cell here and then place the, uh, let's see, refinery controller, which one of these guys? You, with the crude oil, can go right here, right? So now we can actually have this thing pulling from the top, filling with crude oil, and then outputting on its face, filling this with crude oil. So no stress and it's pretty instant. We can even say like it pulls as fast as possible just, just for funsies. Here's a clever thought. Could I put the uh, diesel output here? Is that a part of it? No, okay, it has to be stacked on top. Ah, really? It can't be in the middle? Why can't it be in the middle? I'd love it to be in the middle. <laughs> could I do this? Could I, could I potentially have them stacked like this? Do they have to be perfectly in order of one another? No. They don't. Okay, the refineries are rebuilt up top here. Uh, this guy is going to get filled super easy. Now we need to take this refinery output, this refined oil, and stick it into this controller here. The reason I have the blaze burner in the middle of them all is because that's actually going to allow it to heat both of them side by side. If I were to heat it right now, it would do that. But I don't have any liquid. I don't want to waste any LPG or diesel. Yeah, okay. May as well test it right now. It is very cool. Whoosh. And you can see these guys heat just absolutely skyrockets and it's way above the required temperature which is super nice and we're already getting a bunch of that diesel back so super cool although this guy is just going to burn through its refined oil because we haven't hooked it up so both heavy and light oil we need we need both of these pulled out i don't know whether we want to pull them out just to the side like with a fluid cell we might want to do that let's 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 mock this up okay that's what i say about create it's all about sketching we're going to be pulling them into thermonomatic processing plants, so that actually might not work because we need heat for that to work. Eh, but we'll leave that for later. Right now, the most important thing actually is to get the diesel inside of the blaze burner, and that will not be hard because we could just put a fluid cell. Have it pull diesel in and output diesel out, and there we go. Perfect. Diesel is now completely filtered and has a massive buffer. Look at that. So this guy runs forever now. Like, forever, forever. Like, this is, this is so much diesel. As far as this guy goes, I think I could just get it to go down like so. There we go. Yeah, and then we can just either have one of these be a pump or this one be a pump, depending on what works the absolute best. But that should pull it in. I, I, pro I probably should figure this out right now instead of waiting for it. And I think I'll just use some more factory buddy technology. Oh, get yourself a factory buddy. Which, if you're new, a factory buddy is a starbuncle wheel. Okay, they're called a starbuncle wheel, and you can get them by finding starbuncles in the overworld. They're just little passive mobs. You give them a gold nugget, they'll give you some starbuncle shards. Surround a water wheel of starbuncle shards, and you've got yourself a factory buddy. There. So now this is pulling out the oil it's a making into this guy, and that's actually producing really fast. And you know what's interesting? 
Uh, these guys are all poorly insulated. Once we cover these things up, it'll produce even better. So that's super exciting. Okay, yeah, now these need to both go into what are called thermopneumatic processing plants. And these, once again, they use heat instead of using pressure. Now there is something called a heat pipe, right? Where we could actually pipe some of the heat from this blaze burner into these guys. I wonder if that's the move. Although I would want them to be in different places. I don't think that looks very good. I'm gonna lay here and here with them here and here. And heat pipes we can actually very easily make with a sturdy machine. We had one extra from the last episode. Boom, eight heat pipes. And there we go. We've got some heat. And I believe, yeah, if I attach this, you can see these things get really, really hot. So I could literally just do that. And now they're hooked up to the blaze burner. I don't think it's actually hurting anyone like all of them have the heat they need this guy is just this guy is just magical and infinite so that's how that goes so these processing plants are now operating hot enough much 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 hot enough they both need pressure and heat these guys are greedy well, i'll tell you what we could use our happy little liquid compressor boop, uh, because now that we have lpg we have something that's you know worth using uh, however, however, we need to think about a few things here. These will have item outputs in addition to liquid outputs. I think we may need to have these in drastically separate locations because we are very much starting to lose space to output items from these things. You know, I'm actually thinking something like this, okay? They're on the bottom, they get the heat from the crazy heat pipes. Uh, we could even, you know, round off in this direction. That heats it up more! Interesting, infinite heat. Um, in any case, this will allow us to have belt lines coming off of them to extract items from, and then we could just have two different pipelines coming off of the top. Actually, one of them doesn't even have to be a pipeline. The heavy oil can just be our favorite little trick right here, and then easy enough we could use a pump here, followed up by pipes like so. And then we would just have some pressure generator in the back. Well, now... The mystery becomes LPG, and how do I put it where I want it? Hmm. I think for starters, our factory buddy should move up one. I think we are wasting space by having a shaft in there. Floating factory buddy formation, go! Don't know why I thought that would help, but I really did. I, I have- I want this. I want this to be the way. I think it's possible, you know? I think it's possible. But we still have to get the LPG out of this thing. I suppose if I do this move, uh, ugh, I don't want to connect to that still. That's the trouble. Do I have a copper casing on me? I don't have a copper casing on me. Okay, let me get a copper casing on me. Hello, Henry, the light blue ME covered cable. All right, break the LPG thing for the eight millionth time. Unglassify. Break. Casing and put the LPG guy back. Perfect. What did I accomplish with that? What was my goal with that? That was really dumb. There we go. There we go. That's a sneaky snake. And we can even just use this pump right here too, which I do love. So there's LPG going right into this guy. Ooh, look at that go. Look at that pressure rise. Oh my gosh, so much LPG. And these guys should both be getting all the bar they could ever desire. What are your problems? Add some ingredients. Oh, yeah, and poorly insulated. We'll work on the insulation, but look at that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Jeez, so much. So much. Oh, my gosh, it's already filling up. How do I void liquid without, like, a nullifier? I think there's something called a nullifier. I believe we're working towards that, right? Yeah, plastic machines. Okay, so we're working towards that. This thing is definitely looking like a cool mess boiler. I'm, I'm very much enjoying the look of this. Uh, our next trick, uh, this is pretty easy actually. I can, I can get this thing going right now, I'd imagine? I probably want to put a speed upgrade or two in this. We'll work on that later. Um, yes, we all remember the, the speed upgrade uh, fun of the last episode, right? Yeah, you're functioning already. You'll make tar and refined fuel. Both super, super, super important things. Also, wow. Ah, I just... This thing was working so well. But this, to power this, will be the challenge. Actually, you know what? I could just use the... Just use another factory buddy right here. Yeah, that's actually... 
not that big of a deal. So now we both have light oil processing into sulfur and heavy oil processing into tar and both of them creating refined fuel, which means we're actually finally making progress. We're making progress into the chapter. This is this is unprecedented. Okay, I made a small change uh, because it occurred to me that if they are both next to each other, we did not have the ability to take out the uh, items and stuff with all the things that were surrounding them. So I ended up moving them one apart. Uh, so refined fuel in here, refined fuel in here, and now refined fuel in here and both of theirs is literally being sucked up by the same guy and they have their front faces open which is going to allow us to pull the items right out the front of them so super exciting very nice a uh, super efficient just for funsies i'll probably do this with the pipes instead just to kind of fit the the more slick design and honestly honestly look at this thing that is compact and that is cool looking, okay? This is an amazing looking oil right Hold on, I'm just gonna get a screenshot of that. I'm proud of that. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's literally only limited by the speed that this is going, and the hotter this is, the better this thing will run, and we haven't fully insulated this guy yet. We will be fully insulating this guy very soon. So, with our refined field being processed and access to sulfur dust as well as tar, the next step we need to do is actually move these guys around, okay? The tar needs to be melted into anthracene, and the sulfur needs to be put into water to create sulfuric acid. But I do want to store this refined fuel since we actually are going to be needing it for a later part of this chapter. So while I am getting some fluid tank set up, I'd like to go into our first Q&A of the day. Because in the last episode, I recognized that I totally, kind of, completely forgot to do the Q&A. And I'm sorry. So, to atone for my sins, I will be doing two. The first one will be a premium Q&A, and the second one will be one of our regular Q&As. So, starting with the premium Q&A from Groot the Tree, asking if I intend to record other games. And I very much, very, 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 very much intend to record other games. Uh, I love more games than just Minecraft, uh, especially like Terraria and stuff, and I've got some ideas, I've got some plans, I've got some plans in the future for other games, so stay tuned for that. We're pretty much out of copper, I will need to do some copper mining pretty soon. We have this fluid cell with the liquid inside of it, but I find myself having no idea where to extract it. I... Oh, I thought that would attach. How do I get the liquid out of this fluid cell? Because this guy needs the heat pipes uh, very much. I suppose I could just pull the heat pipes out like this. It's definitely not the prettiest solution. Not by far. But it does allow me to then pull down pipes. Oh, uh, hold on. Just being silly. Just being silly, all of that, all of that disregard me as a silly boy, as a goofy guy, as just someone who doesn't know what they're doing. There. Now I have no idea where I want to store. For the time being, I, I could just do this. Yeah. Could just have that as a buffer. Because then we could pull that out from every, anywhere and we've got a little bit of an extra buffer. I'm going to let this process out and just take out the tar and the sulfur. We'll, we'll get to that more, but this should fill up hopefully, yeah, very quickly, very nice and quickly. Something else that kind of sucks actually is I kind of wish I had the sulfur here and the tar over here, but it's going to be really annoying to move this around, but I do think it's, a, yeah, okay, hold on. Ah, ah, stop. No, oh, I just wasted I've just broken everything. I've just, I've wasted and destroyed and despoiled and, uh, wait, we're out of oil. Oh, would you look at that? That'll do that. I should actually make a train schedule so we can get more oil. You know, I haven't the slightest clue because I want to fit it in this frame. I like this frame that we're building. Yeah, because light oil can only go into this guy, right? All right, I think it's either this is inconvenient or I have to change the structure around and I don't want to change the structure around. So this is the heavy oil fella because that's where heavy oil comes out of. And this is the light oil fella because that's where light oil comes out of. That's just the way it's got to be. Promise I will automate the functionality of getting the oil over from the nether. I just don't want to right now, okay? 
I'm feeling lazy right now. I just want to, I want to get this anthroquinone, anthroquinone, anthroquinone. You know, they really just shouldn't stand on the train track. I feel like this would be a lot easier for everybody if they just didn't stand on the track, right? I've also never ridden a train in first person in Create. This feels weird. Hey, check this out. I, I heard... Well, uh... What? What just happened? Alright, orb of flight again. I get, What was that? You know what, while I'm over here, I'm just gonna make a, a small water wheel and attach it to the... to the big water wheel to speed up our oil process. Well, that was annoying. Man, this orb of temporary flight is such a good item. I... I how do you make these? I mean, can we just, like... Can we automate these? No, you can't even create them. All right, that's sad. I, I would have loved a creative flight farm. <laughs> okay, I died over here to the magic fall damage while trying to show off the fact that... Huh? Okay, who's pranking me, all right? Devs are pranking me, apparently. That was weird. That was really weird. Or they're shiny now. See? They're shiny now. That's all. That's all I want to show you. There we go. That's much faster now. Nice. I do I do love the trick of just slap a little water wheel on a big water wheel, double the speed, and now we got a full speed, uh... This boy, I forget what they're called. The pumps. The pumps. I still really should automate this process, though. Okay, that should kick way back into high gear. Yeah, look at that. Look at that go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh! Wow, that, that trained so much so fast. What the heck? This really is working fast. Okay, well, what we need to do now is figure out how to get the sulfur dropped into actual, like, water on the ground and the tar into a melter system with the uh, delicious, delicious refined fuel inside of it. And, uh, I have no idea. That's not a bad start, right? Get a little belt down. Put a little belt right there, right? Uh, melter here, the tank there. All right, all right, all right, all right. No need to stick to a frame anymore. I think I'm restricting myself too much. I don't want it to look ugly, but this doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean this is ugly. So tank here, melter here. This is going to make the uh, anthracene. I th what's it called? Yes, anthracene. This is what we're making with this guy. Uh, and I bring these guys over. Cool. I should be able to just. That should be more than enough. You know, I didn't have to have this in the back. I could have had it in the front. And it could have just piped forward like that. Take it back. I can never just get something right, you know? I can never just... I can never just accomplish something. I always have to be like, no, 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 no. We're gonna overcomplicate it. Right. I was like, why is there light oil? You need to chill. You need to chill. And just in case you need to chill. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make everything chill. And then that can go nice and tall, an additional 32 buckets, beautiful. And I will have this guy spit forward into the tank where we can split out of it. Okay, this looks good here. And this setup, obviously, very classic. It just goes right into the melter. And then we will have ourselves the delicious anthracene. And the anthracene has to get into a spout. And guess what we could do? We could input from the bottom and output to the side. So a spout is just going to go here and we'll immediately have that spout set up going. So nice and easy. Now for this guy, the sulfur dust needs to be dropped into an ever living thing of water. And then the anthracene needs to be dropped into that, right? You can see anthracene goes into sulfuric acid. And to make sulfuric acid, you need to drop sulfur dust in water. It says it in the tooltip. We also have to figure out how to power this thing, but that's a problem for a later D Jojo. I think one thing I want to start with is these items should go upwards. I want the water to be up in the air because we'll need to have a smart shoot beneath the water, right? So that we could drop the sulfur onto the water and also then drop the anthracene onto the sulfuric acid rather. Although maybe I'm thinking too much about this. We could have this spit out the sulfur right onto the ground here at an infinite water source here. There then could be a smart fluid pipe here, facing into a pipe here, right? So think about this kind of structure. Pump there, they're powering each other. And now we can just store sulfuric acid 
and route it wherever we want. That might be very good to do. And so here we create the anthracene vials and we're eventually going to have to like, we're gonna wanna look for it a little bit. Once we create anthraquinone, complete anthraquinone, we need to empty that and we get the vial back. So we have to think about a bit of a loop. So this is probably gonna wanna be a belt of some kind. This just needs to be worn out and we have to have a cog between them. Woo, my brain is slow. I'm in a very different setup than I'm used to, and it causes the room to heat up. Like, to actually physically get really hot. So my, my brain is running on, like, 50% capacity. Okay, so this is kind of what I have mocked up here, right? The anthracene is created here. Wait. It doesn't have to be made right there at all. It could be made right here. It can be made in the front, too. But, okay, for the sake of the argument, alright. Let's just say the anthracene is made here. It then moves along this line, and then it's dropped up here, kind of hits this wall and comes down. This block is where we would want our sulfuric acid to be pumped. And that is pretty far away from where we can actually make the sulfuric acid. Not ideal, but I guess we could try to have it so that it comes around this way. But now we at least have an understanding of how far it has to be off of the ground to make sense. The smart shoot there is, of course, to filter out just a uh, an anthracene vial from an incomplete antiquinone vial. Because remember, the dropping of the anthracene in the sulfuric acid is the final step before incomplete anthraquinone. Oh my gosh. These chapters are starting to get... Absolutely insane. Completely insane. I do now get to use one of my favorite create mod tricks, though, because you can see we want this pipe... Uh, come on now. We want this pipe to be angled forward. So what we can do is angle it forward and then encase it, and you'll see we still have an opening right there, meaning the sulfuric acid will still pop out right there in front of this guy. Uh, I'll probably put like a glass trap door here as we're getting pretty close to the edge of our oil rig, but I will say this machine is looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty snazzy. Uh, and then for powering it, that can be good. And uh, potentially even a little bit of a number in the back here. Pull this guy out by one and have a chain drive there. Chain drive uh, gearbox. I suppose we could get a little whimsical with it and have this instead uh, connect to a belt line like so, um, pull out the back and then use a weighted ejector here and like fling it all the way over. We've been having some fun with the weighted ejectors recently, so I, I don't mind that. And for now, we'll just set it like that since it's got nowhere to go. But good to have the idea in mind. Now, though, powering this belt has become a lot more difficult. Uh, however, the difficulty of this is stay the same, so that's nice. Hopefully, rotational power is kind to us. Maybe. Potentially. I don't know. I can't do this in my head. I, I don't have that smartness. I think we could even use this factory buddy to pull the power out to the front, which solves a good few issues. Because that'll actually, that'll count as insulation. It doesn't have to be full blocks that touch the uh, sides of your pneumaticraft stuff, by the way. It can literally be any block, so they do a really good job of not just arbitrarily restricting what you can and can't build with. So, do whatever you want. Oh. My gosh, that actually worked out of the, that worked out of a gate. Okay, incredible, incredible, incredible. Now, can we push it that much further? Could I get these guys powered off of it? Interestingly enough, that's funny. I, I didn't technically need that there for the uh, for the belt line, but you do need it there for this to spin in the right direction, so that's pretty convenient, pretty nice. Oof, powering this might be a little tough. I don't really want to just do a chain drive thing here because that'll push it out by one, and I, I don't know, I think that'll look ugly. I'm not a fan of ugly looking stuff. What we might be able to do is actually pull power just underneath this thing using this as an advent. So if I were to go here and use a vertical gearbox like so. Oh, but that goes right into one of the supports. That'll look bad. How about here? How about there? Potentially right there, eh? Uh, you know what? It goes into the back of one of the supports. So we won't be able to see it. 
There we go. We're get we're getting somewhere. We're cooking. We're cooking. Alrighty, let's cross our fingers on this. Boop. No overstress. That's a really good sign, actually. Thank you. Is everything spinning in the right direction? This isn't, but that is. However, this is so easily fixable. Gearbox. So hold on. Whoa. 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 Things are working and happening and doing. What? That's incredible. Oh my gosh, what luck! Alrighty, with a superheated anthracene factory done, all we need to do now is generate sulfuric acid, and that is pretty easy. We just need ourselves uh, an infinite water source, which I think everyone here knows how to do, uh, and a smart fluid pipe. So let me actually, let's get that done right now. I believe we should have a smart fluid pipe, right? Nope. Don't worry, they are pretty, pretty easy to make, right? Yes. Boop. Okay, first things first, we should probably get ourselves some sulfuric acid. This probably hurt me from standing in it, but all you have to do is throw down that like that. Does it hurt me? Oh, no, you can just stand in sulfuric acid. Cool. <laughs> you know, I'm just built different, I guess. Uh, but we could use that to now filter the smart pipe that we have right here, like there, and filtered. Beautiful. Okay, we also have our fluid blocking frame glass trap door there. And for the infinite water source, we will get some of these in too, so we don't have ugly water mess flowing everywhere. Actually, this should probably just be a full block. This should be a full block for ease. Like that. So, firstly, if I put that in there, that should pull out very quickly, correct? Yep, that just goes right in. Beautiful. And now, eh, I can't reach, oh my gosh, I have to go all the way in the water, all the way out of the water. I'm so inconvenienced by my own shoddy engineering. But this design is really clever because the sulfur is just going to drop one at a time, because this is an andesite funnel, onto the ground. And it will wait until this clears up, right? Because an andesite funnel will check if there is an item on the ground. So even when that area is full, right, it will still not output if I do this. Well, it did output another sulfur dust, but it's waiting now, okay? It's, it now knows to wait, and the sulfur dust can actually just hang around in there. I, I think we just did it. Empty vial. Anthracene. There. Oh, where'd you go, buddy? Anthracene. Oh, right! This needs to be filtered. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, so the anthracene. Up. Does it make a sound or something? It, was there only like a 10%, 10% chance consume block? Oh. I think this works way slower than I thought it would. But now we have incomplete anthracene. Uh, no, incomplete anthroquinone. And it's filtered, which is like the whole deal of the episode. But I want to test this. Let's do a proper test run. You, you, you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're chemists! We're cooking! Oh, that's so cool! And I just want to make sure, yep, it goes on. Oh, it's automatic. It's automatic! The sulfur dust really isn't used very much, huh? That kind of provides a bit of an issue because, well, this is needing to produce refined fuel. We're going to be needing a lot of refined fuel production going on. Uh, the tar, that's going much better. Why isn't this some heavy oil? Huh? Oh, this blocked up because of the diesel. We need a redo here. We need we need to think this through. In this current setup, this is like totally impossible unless we had item pipes. We don't we don't have right. We don't we don't have item pipes, right? I just want to check. Oy, 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 that portal was too loud in my ear. Yeah, there isn't a way to just pull items up and around. And you know, the tar as well should have gone into something voiding, because this this barely counts. That's not a voiding thing. Look at that spider go! Look at that spider over there! I am... stumping myself out of my own foolishness and just simply... Just, just, just simply forgetting! Just simply forgetting how to do things right. Oh! Oh! Wait! Wait! Idea, idea, it's always when you complain, it's always when you complain. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, but the idea I had was the pusher and the puller upgrades. Because I think it'll work on belts. It should. So let's see. If I put this in here, I can have this thing, uh, because this, I believe that's the front facing side of it. So we're gonna want waiting. No, push north there and pull from the downward if i do this it should end up in there oh my gosh oh my gosh that works okay so we have the tar voiding we have voiding tar wait it's not that bad i just i just realized we could just move this little setup like one block back and then we're all good the idea is the drawer goes here and then we just have a funnel out putting into the back so it just drops onto this block now same setup, same smart fluid. Man, I overreacted uh, significantly there. It's a good thing I don't normally do that. It's not like that's like how I normally. Uh, it's just, I never overreact, right, guys? Not me. Not the Jojo the Awesome. I didn't need. I didn't need this this pusher upgrade. I don't think I. That was an accident to make. But with the polar upgrade, we can now void our sulfur, and the frame of the machine doesn't change in any meaningful way. I don't really mind that. I uh, stacked my drawer away. Okay, let me go grab that. I need to do a Q and A. Hold on, we're almost at the end of the video, and it just hit me. I haven't done the second Q and A. Okay, while I'm setting up this absolute magnum opus, we'll do the Q&A of the, well, the second Q&A of the day by 50 gigabytes, asking my recommendations for anyone who is wanting to start content creation. Um, pretty much anything I would recommend to someone is to learn, to learn, to as much as you can, just like, like fill your mind with as much information about content creation as you can look at different resources understand that there are people who know so much about this uh, and who want to share it quick google searches will really do you absolute wonders um and then a secondary piece of advice is just to stick with it you will get better at it i know i haven't but like i will one day well also yeah this factory is completely done and i'm a genius